Welcome back to another John Boat to Bass Boat conversion. So in this video, I want to go ahead and get all these walls on this side and on that side covered in the foam. And I was messing around with a sheet of paper and realized that it is the perfect size to fit where I want it to fit. Right up in here, could not fit any better. So that was the easiest temple I ever made. Already made for me. So here is the foam. I need to go ahead and draw my lines and then just cut it out. This piece of foam is just going to that one by one right there. So we got 69 and a half. So here is that piece of foam I just put in and man, it looks so freaking good. It is like flush with this piece of metal right here on top. And it just, it just came out perfect, man. I'm so happy with how that looks. And now that we got the foam in here, we can start screwing down the batteries, get the uh, black box screwed into place, start getting all the wires through this wall here and into this battery box, get the battery charger in here and all that fancy stuff. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and get some foam on this side. All right, there is the rod locker side all foamed out. It is looking good. Okay, so I got all the foam in here, so now I can work on the wiring. I was about to get ready for the black box, get all that attached in here, and then I was like, you know what? All this still looks like crap and still needs to be painted. It got pretty scratched up when I was uh, drilling through here, so before I do the wiring, we need to paint this, and I'm going to go ahead and paint one more coat on all the doors. I'm going to go ahead and start painting. This is the before. All right, so it is the next day and this last layer of paint did the job. It looks so freaking good. It is all painted. So I just went ahead and made a template for the front deck. Got it all cut out perfectly. It should be pretty good. It goes around the tray here. Even got these little bitty notches right there made as well. That is so there's no big gap just right here in the corner. Did that for both sides. I mean, we went all out. This uh, template is going to be perfect. So let's go ahead and take it off, lay it onto this piece of metal, and then cut it out. So I threw the template down on a piece of metal and I tested which way gave me more metal after cutting it out, and it was this way. But if you remember a while back when we made the back deck, I made the template wrong. And it made the piece of metal a quarter inch smaller. So I want to take this out and recut it and make it perfect since I have the metal to do so, or I hope. I'm hoping this will lay right down inside the center. Boom, baby, it will. Okay, so there's that. And there's enough room to make the extra quarter inch that we need on both sides. So that is awesome. And then, the leftover over here is about 15 and three quarters, so 15 inches. So this piece here will give us what we need to add to the top here. So it's gonna be a normal deck and then it'll go up two or three inches and then a higher deck here. This is where the trolling motor will sit, all the fish founders, all that fancy stuff. So that's perfect. And I still need to cut out this piece here. And we'll be able to get that piece from this corner right up here. So this sheet right here will give us everything that we need to finish the boat. So that is perfect. Let's start tracing this out and then cut it out. All 
making this corner is going to be a pain in the butt with these shears. So I'm just going to cut all the way through and then just piece the back three pieces together. Shouldn't be a big deal and all those cracks will be hidden. So just to make it easier, that's what we're going to do. There is the front deck all cut out. Now we just hope and pray that it fits. First try. All because of that lip. Uh, maybe we can pick up the middle and fold it in. Okay, we just had the folder in. That's sitting pretty right around that bracket for the handle. Nice, nice. That right there needs to go. Dang it. So we need to cut that down just a hair. Let me get it my Sharpie. And up. And then this right here has to go. Okay, after we cut that, it should be good. All right, there she is, she's perfect. Ah, it looks so good. I wish we could go ahead and attach it, but we can't. We still need to drill a hole out right here for all the wiring, and then we also need to run all the wiring. I'm gonna take a few pictures, and then uh, we'll get to work. <laughs> God, it looks so good. I love it. What do you guys think? There is the entire deck on the John boat. Looks freaking awesome, dude. It looks freaking awesome. It's gonna look so sick once it's all foamed. I am freaking excited, dude. Hope you guys are stoked too. All right, so here is the front deck. I would love for it to be able to stay in, but we still have to run all the wiring. So I will be doing that tonight. I said there's a full deck now, but there's actually not. The back corner back here is not done yet. So we need to get this done. So I'm going to Get all this back corner attached, get all that attached, and then we'll call it quits for this video. So first off, I need to make a template for this piece. So I'm gonna shove this piece back in that we already made that is too small. We're just gonna add paper to this and make it the right size and then cut out the new piece. Yes. I got the second piece cut out. GoPro died, so I didn't film it. Let's test the fit real quick. Nice and tight up against that lip right here. There we go. Now it's perfect. I had to hammer it in, it's so perfect. There is the next template. Let's go ahead and cut this out. All right, there is the third piece cut out. Let's layer in place. Boom, perfect. Okay, there is the whole back deck in place. We still need to screw it down though.
All right, so I got these all attached to the back deck here, and I got these all measured out so I know where I need to rivet those. So let's add this back in once and for all. Measure it. is that piece in and once again we'll just have to put two screws here tomorrow that goes all the way through to the deck and that's solid now we can attach this this will be pretty simple too freaking stoked with how this came out it came out literally perfect could not get any better i did have to remake it but hey worth the time because now it's perfect you pro i probably could have hit it with the foam but nah it's not my style it's gotta be perfect or nothing. Now we can officially say the entire deck is done. Besides the front. <laughs> the entire back of the deck is done. All attached, looking good, man. I'm stoked with how that came out. I wanna just throw this up, just to, just to see. We still need to paint this white, by the way. I just haven't got to it yet. But let's drop her in the place. Also, I'm going to have to add supports on the wall here so it stays in place and add the lights back here, run the wiring through there. It's going to be a pain in the butt, but we'll get it done. But I just want to throw this right here. Won't be too easy. I left a little bit of a lip on this side so that can sit right up against it. We'll have to mess with it, but that's how she looks, man. Going to be freaking sweet. All right, there it is. The back deck all finished. We got the AR somewhat in place. Once I get it secured down, it will uh, tighten up and be straight. But man, we finally have all that decked out. Looks freaking awesome. And once again, we got the front of the deck cut out as well, but that is not going to stay. Tomorrow, I'm gonna have to take it out and run all the wiring so that is going to be fun but guys i hope you all enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you all in the next one peace